In the world of sports, it's an age-old argument. Who's better? And we're going to debate that for you right here, so let's get to it. What game-ending play, starting with Big Daddy Warren, what game-ending play was the best? Was it Miles Austin's overtime touchdown catch or the Arizona goal line stand against Houston? Did you say goal line stand? Mm -hmm. That would involve a defense. He let him in on the field, having a commitment to get it done. I'm right. going with the defense every time. Why would you ask me that? Huh? I mean, come on. Come right <laughs> in my wheelhouse. Come on. That D. Or, defense. Or, or a back just missing the hole. You know, it could be any <laughs> one of those things. It could be anything. Or a defense just missing the tackle. Or Miles Austin. It come on. Be. Miles Austin. You know, for me, that was the play because here's this kid that, you know, when you watch him practice, right? Phil, so you go down there and get ready for a game and you go, how come this guy's not playing? You know, I mean, he's zipping around, he's making plays, and he looks fast, and he, you know, but he doesn't start. And so you get him in the game, and because mm -hmm. they finally get Roy Williams is out and he's hurt, and he gets a chance, he gets 250 yards. Yards. <laughs> I mean, That's like he's pretty good. So to me, that was the point. You know why he wasn't starting, don't you? No. Because he's Miles Austin. <laughs> He, if he was famous or had a more a, a great perception of him coming out of college, on or whatever it is, yeah. he'd be the guy. But you know, sometimes you got to wait your turn when you're the money or where you drafted or what people think of you. It holds you back. But I like his play because you look at that Houston when you watch the Houston game. Did you see the third down pass to a receiver that was that's, uncovered? That's my fault. Well, no, I'm just saying that's why the fourth down play doesn't strike me because they should have won the game on the third down pass. Mm. An uncovered um, Houston Texan in the back of the end zone. Stop. That shot missed him. That was a hitch route, fellas. A hitch route. And we missed two tackles and he goes to the house? No, I'm talking about down on the goal line, third down. It was. No, no I'm talking Miles about Miles Austin. Austin. Oh, Miles, so, yeah, it's it's yeah, a hitch it, route that he missed two missed tackles. Well, you got to break What's tackles exciting? in the NFL. Let's go. <laughs> you got to have goal line stands. All the defensive players around the league, go Warren, go Warren. Who's better? Starting with Chris. Who's in better shape as far as their job is concerned? Wade Phillips of the Cowboys, Jim Zorn of the Skins, or Dick Jerron of Buffalo? You think the defensive players are watching the internet segment we're doing right here? <laughs> <No, not, not. laughs> <laughs> We've all figured it out. We'll hear, we'll hear shortly. Uh, go ahead. You know, Dick Jerron's a former teammate of mine, and uh, he also fired a former teammate of mine, mm, Turk Schoener. Right. So, yeah. you know, I, I think that that's, it's going to be a struggle there. You know, mm. it, it was a bold stroke. You know, you go in and you fire your defensive coordinator or offensive coordinator, you better be right. Mm. And what's happened since then, their defense actually scored some touchdowns and made some plays and set up some touchdowns early on. But now, as people are starting to get a look at what this offense entails, and it's pretty simple stuff. I mean, it's no motion, it's no shifting, it's no, and it showed up the other day. It's not very good. Do you take phone calls still from each, Jerron and Turk? From Turk. From oh, Turk. Oh, now you from Turk. Okay, I understand. Phil, Ooh. you want me to answer that? Yes, absolutely. Well, of course, if they all three don't go to the playoffs, they're all in trouble. All and three. They, absolutely. They, I think every one of wow. those teams has to go to the playoffs where the coach is going to be gone. What a newsflash. Yeah, well, okay, what do you want me to say? <laughs> well, I don't I'm well, not the like question Chris. was, which one would possibly be have a little bit more job stands, security? Yeah. Of none. <laughs> say none. I'm, that's what I'm saying, none. You know, oh, I'm sorry. Let me write it down. <laughs> none, uh, yeah. No. Seriously. You know, I don't have friends that coach all the places in the NFL. I'm just a... Um, you know, a journalist who has no biases, oh, and I just God. do my job. I don't oh, – I'm friends okay. with him. That's why I wanted you to answer the question. I mean, you know, oh, I'm no. still mad at Dick Jerron because he fired my good friend, Turk. <laughs> don't worry. It'll be all did he throw you any passes, Turk? <laughs> all the time, Did brother. he make you jump for him like Boomer did? No, he's nice. Oh, okay. No, he gave up needed. a lot of money on the golf course, too. That's my man. <laughs> that's, right a, that's why he's that's a good friend. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. now you know the rest of the story. Mm -hmm. And you all agree right, with Phil? What are you saying? You know what? I think – Jim's on because he was given the most of these three, and mm. it's just too much for him to handle. But I kind of agree with you. None of them. All three of them going to get fired. Cowboys? Cowboys. So I, I wanted to know who had the most money because that's guaranteed. So that'd be the guy I want to be. <laughs> that's the guy that's got the best That's the guy. Survive. That's what I said. There we go. You said before, final question. Who's best? Which 2009 surprise mm. is better, the Bengals or the Broncos? Coach Phil Sims. Well, of course, the Broncos got a fortunate break beating them in the opening game. We know that. But mm. since then, I think the Broncos have been the more impressive team mm. because they've kind of handled some games in, in from start to finish. Uh, the Bengals, Carson Palmer, and they're, they're, they're doing it last drive of the game. It's very impressive, but uh, I would take the Broncos. As Gus Johnson of CBS calls him, the cardiac cat. Warren? You know what? That's a real tough decision, but 
I think I'll take the better defense. I'll go with the Broncos, too, because mm. Cincinnati is just tough to believe in that. I mean, ugh. Go ahead, my man. I'm sorry. I'm known beside you. Let me leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what, wait, 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 don't say it that way. You're not scared of him. Come no, on. No, no, no. You're supposed to hear what he's going to do. Well, the Bengals did yeah, be essentially the beat the Broncos. I mean, they did beat them. They, they, gave they, it got the, they gave him they the play. Them. But I, I, I hate to admit this, but I agree with Phil. I think that the, the improvement of the Broncos with their new coaching staff mm-hmm. has been – Pretty remarkable. Why, do you have to, why does he have to put a disclaimer hey, right there? Oh, him I hate to do it. I, you know, hey, he's doing he, the best he, I can. You sound like somebody like, he, he, <laughs> Warren, but did you <laughs> hear Charlie Phil? Johnson. He asked, why did you lean away from Chris? Are you afraid he's going to stab you with a pencil? <laughs> 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 little lead poison. That's tough these days. Thanks for joining us on Who's Better for more web exclusives. Don't forget to visit sports.show.com. Go deep once a week inside the NFL, only on Showtime.